So at some point, I understood that I'm totally behind the schedule, that my ambitious projects are like uh, look like totally unrealistic. And I thought, okay, maybe I have to simplify right. things a little bit. And, and then I recalled this previous project from JP Morgan about this incomplete market. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll just, you know, present option pricing as reinforcement learning because it's so obvious. Uh, maybe like I, I, somehow I was under the impression that it's already known to everyone. And there are already some, you know, articles or tutorials how to do this. Like, like it was obvious to me that option pricing is equivalent to Q learning, what is called, not just reinforcement, but particular Q learning. I started to do search, nothing. Like, so this combination is kind of nothing. Then I said, wow, well, actually, like, no one understands it yet. So let me write a paper. Write a paper, put it as a, you know, assignment, a simple project, a, like very conceptual one, very simple yeah. to understand. Yeah. So this is what I did in this Coursera course. So when we decided to write the book, I said that I will cover chapters about reinforcement yeah. learning and a, something which was even 